All right, you need to go That's to the bubble glue. Yeah, you need to go to the desert area. I think you need to go up that ramp. Oh, great. Oh, there's eggs. Hey, what's down there? I don't know. We shall find out. I think the puzzle for the last area is down here, actually. Yep. There is a puzzle. Yeah, it's for the oh, last area. Pieces. It doesn't matter. The thing isn't there. Oh! Oh, that's weird. Go to the right. Go to the right. Oh! Should we be returning? Uh, yeah. That's... Hi. Hello! We're back. Um, We're back. We uh... found the puzzle <laughs> for the last world. Click clock wood. Yes. And then, um... When I'm nice and slow... Oh, no, nah, well, we've already... We've already talked about this and how you're going to get refat and you're not supposed to do that. There we go. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt <laughs> at Witch School. <laughs> okay. I also know that freshly burst boils is her favorite smell. Oh. oh. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Okay. All right. We're just gonna leave all that alone. Oh, uh, just gonna take a bath in the uh, <laughs> water here. <laughs> so, um. It's been a week. It's been a week, and I'm already lost, so. Yeah, Phil needs to make his way back to the ice world. Yeah. I was giving him instructions. He needs to go to the sand area, the desert yes. area, which I believe is up the hill, but Phil decided to jump into this pool. Hey. Um, Hey, this game is all about exploration. It's true. So, uh, no. up the hill? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> yes, and then to the right. Okay. How do we get into the pyramid place? Oh, it's not open yet. We can't do that until we have the running shoes. We don't have the running shoes yet, that's right. How do we get the running shoes? Are you sure it's up this way? Oh no, we needed the uh This is bubble glue. No. Oh no wait, no, you're right. This is it. Uh no, we needed the, the boots, which we already have. Yeah. But uh we are not done with the ice world yet. I should I forgot how to get to the ice world. Is it this one? I don't remember. You have to go to the spooky part. No, no, nope. it's not this way. I believe you had to go to a scary door. Go to the Go up those stairs. Go up those stairs. It's the scary door. <laughs> the Scary door. Yeah, it's through here. I'll go to the right. There it is. Ah, there it is. Charge! Wow, I remember this pretty well. I also edit these, though, so... So I forgot. Um, a long time ago. <laughs> uh, I, I just had a memory of this, like, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I... I wish we still had it. I actually had the Prima guide for this game. Oh, yeah, you did. I actually had the guide for this game, and I don't know where it went. Hang on, pause the game. Yeah. Uh, go to a few totals. Yeah, quick. we need to see how many jiggies we're missing. I think we've only got four, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we've got plenty to collect here, so let's keep going. Uh, we have to beat uh, the polar bear as Baron Bird now. Oh, it's a race? Yep. Oh. Oh, there he is. Hey, look at that. I think. Hey, buddy. Fancy a race to against Boggy? Press A to accept. You okay, need the buddy. Shoes. Here's the rules. Run through the red slalom games and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. You don't have the running Three, shoes. Three, two, one, go. I don't care. <laughs> I could walk quicker! This is too easy, I'm giving up. <laughs> but he gave up, so you win. Right? Isn't that how you it works? You have to find, you have to find, uh... It, it's in the desert world, I guarantee you. Did you really restart the race? I didn't mean to. Alright, go to the desert world and see if they're actually in there. Yeah. Or, or you just keep going around here and... I can look up a walkthrough. Well, no. Um, Bottles has already said that he's he's already taught us everything in this world. The only thing was that charge. Right. Press so, B this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right, so it must be in the desert world. Has to be. So we can't finish everything here yet. Nope. So we could try to go to the desert world and then come back. Uh, there's some stuff I know I can do here that I haven't done yet, right. so I'm going to do that first. All right. Like, we need to hit the buttons on the um, snowman. Right. Right. You mean, oh, right. The actual, like, button button. Yeah. He's... If only Phil I can... doesn't have sound again this time because yeah. I forgot to charge the headphones. Uh, so, uh, my bad. Sorry. Oops. Apologies. Good job. Good job. Good job. You also need to see the walrus as Andrew. Do uh, Yes. Okay. Save it! Ow! <laughs> now you're in the freezing water. Good yeah, job. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, more feathers. Sweet. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so I wanted to- Alright, Kazooie! Kazooie! <laughs> I wanted to talk about something kind of serious here for a minute. Okay. Phil and I talked about this before the show, but, uh... I don't know if we've actually talked about my mental illness stuff on the show, have we? I don't think so. Alright, so, uh, about four years ago I was diagnosed with depression. It's chronic. I will have it for the rest of my life. I should be taking medication, but I don't have health insurance, so... <laughs> that's Yay. not really an option. Um... <laughs> So, uh, just, you know, this is, this is coming up because this is after, um, some very prominent people, mm -hmm. uh, died of depression or whatever caused them to make suicide seem like the only option. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I say it that way because you need to take those to the kids. Yes, I remember that. I don't know if you have all three yet. Not yet. I have two of them. Um, I, remember I like how Banjo is just kind of like, eh, I'm just here. <laughs> Anyway, um, Phil asked a while ago, um, what helps people when they're struggling with that mm -hmm. kind of thing? Um, and I didn't really know how to answer the question because everybody's different. Um, what somebody needs is going to be different from what I need. Um, but I've realized that what it really boils down to is compassion. Right. Right. It's it's compassion and understanding, and uh, and I've done my own research into it as well. And you know, it, for for each person, it the definition of compassion. Don't fall. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you already have ten. Uh, you already have ten. Don't bother. The the definition of compassion may be different, but the fact that it's compassion is always the same. Yes. So, it's. Oh wait, you have to recollect all three. Oh, boo. Okay. All right. So it's one of those. It's one of those things where. Oh, the hat. Go up to the top. Maybe it's up there. Oh nope, there's notes up here though. You do need to be aware Phil! of the person you're dealing with. I'm dead. Oh my. Wow. God. <laughs> you were not kidding. <laughs> you died. It did not even hesitate with that it, uh, it, it, it didn't like cut away it was just like no you get to watch Banjo plummet to his icy death you die <laughs> you gotta recollect the present I know <laughs> you strip you just die <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> nice nice segue into our conversation there oh my god <laughs> Um, that's what you get. I'm just kidding. Um, but, um, shit. Oh, so we were, while we were discussing this, we were also discussing, you know, what mental illness is. Mm -hmm. Um, because there's a lot of stigma towards mental illness, whether or not it's real and all that bullshit. Um, which, as somebody who lives with a mental illness, I may be biased, but, uh, it's pretty real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um... Oh, oh shit. Dig it. Save it. Alright, you saved it. Saved it. Um, but what it really boils down to, if you want to get to the root root, uh, is... Oh shit. It's, uh, is, uh, is pain. It's pain. It's a mental pain, but it's pain all the same. It's yeah. Like, like any... Oh, oh shit. You're gonna fall. 
Oh, okay, bye. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, Phil, what is happening? I am. You were straight up dying. You're gonna lose getting, all your lives. I'm just getting my butt beat. Oh my god. Ah! Oh ah! my god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> wow, that was. Okay, uh. So. And any. any we, we were kind of discussing this, but I have a theory now. Uh, and I, I, I'm going to talk about something that I have no personal connection to other than work. Because um, I write a lot of posts and things for drug and alcohol addiction. I've been mm -hmm. doing that for a little over two years uh, for freelance writing. So I've learned a lot about addiction uh, because I've written uh, articles on various topics involving addiction, including what causes people to form an addiction. And this isn't just drug and alcohol addiction. This is addiction in general. You can mm -hmm. be addicted to anything that makes you feel good. Yes. Dopamine. Yes. If it produces dopamine in your brain, you can be addicted to it. Um, people with mental illnesses are more prone to this because... Especially depression. Um, because... Wait a minute. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Um, no. He, okay. he doesn't touch you. He's just kind of there. Uh, because uh, the brain doesn't naturally produce dopamine at the levels it's supposed to when you're depressed or you have some other mental illness. Just land. Don't be doing nothing. Alright. But I like the fancy. Ow. No, you have to... No, you have to break it apart with kazoo. Wow. This guy does not care. There you go. Oh, whoo! I'm surprised you didn't get anything out of that. Just get all these notes. Um, but anyway, what it really boils down to when you form an addiction to something that produces dopamine is essentially pain, right? Instead of dealing with your pain, you're covering it up with instant gratification, with things that make you feel good in the moment. Yep. Dopamine. Yes. Um, and this isn't just, like, an individual problem. This is a problem in our society as a whole. Um, mm -hmm. because in the society we live in, instant gratification is everything. The faster our technology gets, the more instant gratification is a problem. Because we want it immediately. We don't want to wait for it. Mm -hmm. We're so used to getting everything immediately, especially with people in our generation, that... Any time we have to work for something long term, people who aren't accustomed to doing that have problems. Yes. Right. So, like, we go to school and we get an education, but we don't see each day as individual progress, right? It, it's just a matter of, like, yeah, we're going to school for 12 years, but we don't really see it that way. Mm hmm. Um, which is why. Oops, you're dead. Darn it. You're dead. You're super dead. Which is why a lot of people, when they go to college, have problems. One of the reasons. Yes. Because they don't know how to work at something long term. Uh, this is not true for everybody, obviously. There are people in, that are millennials and our age that have doctorates and shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it is true for most people. Um, yeah, um, I, I personally had issues with that because so I... I cruised through high school. I cruised through school, period. And um, so when I got to college, um, I spent two years um, wanting to study computer engineering programming and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I did not do very well because I really wasn't equipped with the mindset that I needed. Um, what that did tell, what that did give me was the mindset that I needed in order to actually do it. Right. And I ended up majoring in math, which I liked better anyway. Probability and statistics. Yes, right? correct. And a minor in business as well, just because. I keep forgetting you have a business minor. <laughs> it was easy to tack on, really. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's most of the reason. <laughs> You're like, this will look good on my resume, and I need like one extra class. <laughs> well, actually, the driving force behind that was that originally I was going to go teach. 
Uh, um, but after I actually went and student taught, I realized that no, I really didn't. <laughs> uh, you need to figure out where that last present is. There's three of them. I know. I'm gonna get these two delivered though, so I can stop dying. And uh, and so when when I went and looked at my options, I was like, okay, I could get a few different types of jobs, but I, they're. I'm probably going to need the business miner, so I tacked Correct. it on. All right. And so that was... That was an interesting... Have a present. Wow, thank you, brown have bear. You get to keep crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're so mean! Um, yeah, so college was a really big thing for us, like, in terms mm -hmm. of personal growth. Uh, I, just for the record, I'm going back to college, but I failed out of college twice. Uh, and by that I mean I was actually kicked out of school for multiple semesters because I did not make grades. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know that for the second school until I went back and they were like, yeah, you were on academic probation for a semester. And I was like, wait, what? Because <laughs> I didn't go to school for four years. <laughs> oh, no! Um, There's an ecom token in here. You better get the ecom token. Um, <laughs> you suck. um, so it comes from personal experience from both of us. Like if you fail a class or you're not doing well in college, it really is not the end of the world. Like it can feel like it because you have a shit ton of money invested, but it's okay. That's, that's a, uh, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. What a shit ton of money. Yeah. It, what, what exactly is a shit ton? Also. Just some personal advice, um, not personal per se, but uh, if you aren't, if you don't get a scholarship or something right out of high school to go to a university, go to a community college first. Yes. Um, they are significantly cheaper. You can get your gin eds out of the way in a smaller classroom size. So if you are having problems with, good job, if you are having problems with, say, um, a specific <laughs> type of class, like I'm not good with sciences, mm -hmm. um, you can uh, you can get a smaller classroom size and actually work with your professor or MA if it's, they don't have a professor, and if they don't have a doctorate. Uh, I have that for my psychology class, that's why I say that. Um, and you can uh, go and go to their office hours and get, like, face-to-face -face whatever. The, the general rule is, as long as you show up and you try, they will pass it. Because well, they don't, for the most part. You, it depends on the professor. The key is to try. Yes. Don't, don't... You have to show up and you have to try. Yeah. You can't skip classes. If you go to office hours, you know, even if you end up with an F, depending on the professor, they will probably give you a D. The teachers know will know if you care. Yes. So you need to show that you care. Hey, look the, the mini I saw it. Oh, chip. I, I dove from a little too high. That's, that's okay. okay. That's all right. That's okay. I'm gonna make um, myself cold here, but that's okay. Yes. So, um, yeah. So if you're not sure what to do, in terms of like uh, secondary schooling or whatever you want to call it. it Advanced learning. What is it called? It's something learning. I don't know. Um, oh, you can talk them. Yeah, sweet. Um, go to community college or go to a trade school. Trade schools yes. are also good, uh, especially if you know what you want to do. If, if you if you already know what you want to do and you don't necessarily need college to do it, then don't go, worry about going to college. Yeah, go to a trade school. Go, or, go where you need to go. You right. Know? Or if you want to try... If you want to just have a job and then, like, take classes through community college mm -hmm. to, you know, get a certificate or something, that also works. Um, and don't be afraid to say no to university. Yeah. You don't have to get a college degree to have a good job. Um, it's not a requirement. It is not necessary. I already got that, right? Um, yeah. Like, our parents, uh, one of them doesn't have a degree, and the other one just has an associate's degree. Yeah. Uh, like, which is the two-year degree. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, our our dad went to business school, and he has a good job. Ah, there. that's what it was. Yeah. I had to actually kill all of the snowmen yes. in order to get that. Yeah, our dad uh, doesn't have a degree, and he has a good paying job now. Uh, he has a really good job. We probably shouldn't say what it is. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> a 
but uh, no, he he does a good job. He works with good people. Um, you should probably just drop. I, I, on... I seem I seem to have an issue. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, but keep in mind, he got this job like twenty some years. Long ago. time ago. Long time ago. But it the paper doesn't hurt. But for some jobs, it is not a requirement. So. If you want to focus on getting a certificate like, or going yeah, to trade school... Yeah, or... if, if... Like, there's so many different jobs now that, you know, they say they want a bachelor's, they say they want this, that, or the other thing, but uh, more, it. they're looking for your ability to work under deadlines and yes. work with other people, and... Right. So if you can get certified for stuff like that. Like, um, there are a number of certificates that you can get mm -hmm. um, for, like... That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> for, like, uh, Microsoft Office. You don't have the running shoes yet. I know I don't have the running shoes yet. I'm trying to get somewhere else. You're trying to find that red present, right? Um, that's part of it. Go to the houses to your left. No, I think... I, I want to get this first. Oh, it might be with the walrus. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, and it's over there. Um, but uh, Microsoft Office is a big thing still. Yes. For a lot of companies, and they will... It, they they look for those office certificates, and you, right. can, you can test for those. You can mm -hmm. learn them yourself. Also, if you want to try freelancing, WordPress is really important. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do WordPress stuff, so I don't know whatever consistency it is, but I work on Fiverr uh, as a freelancer, and one of the most searched things on there, one of the top five most searched things, you have to be the walrus to go in there, um, is uh, is WordPress, which is... Why were we here? Go, go up, or look up uh, to your right. To your right. Look down. That... Oh, Jinjo! That's right. Yes. And you get the chicken for that. And there's stuff back there. There is stuff back here. Oh, you have to... Huh. There's a big key. Weird. Weird? Huh. Don't attack the walrus! Ugh. But anyway, more of the story. Firebirds. More of the story. Just because it works for somebody else doesn't necessarily mean it works for you. Yes. Yeah. You don't. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to do something you don't want to do. Just do what you want. And if your parents are pressuring you into doing it, you're 18 years old. Make your own choices. And you do. You well. You do have to understand, though. You do have to give yourself the means to do what you want. Yeah. Don't. don't blindly follow a dream without a backup plan. Yes. You know? Yes, I did that. Like, and uh shit's not working out for me right we, now. So. We're doing we're doing this channel knowing that, you know It won't ever take off. It most likely not. Yeah. The statistical likelihood of it ever taking off is not very high. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm gonna check where I'm at. So seven out of ten. Uh, I don't know where the other two jiggies would you be. You get one for getting the red present to the kid. I don't know where the present is. Just look around. Is it in the tree? It could be. It might be in the tree. If not, check the houses. Well, I gotta get in the tree first. Um, I gotta go down and turn on the tree. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if your parents are pushing you into college, like our parents pushed us into college, it is okay to say no. It's, it's fine. It's not... Just get a job instead. Like, they want you to succeed and stuff, but there's nothing wrong with taking a year off of school mm -hmm. and getting a job and trying to figure out what you want. The tree's already on. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I can't get into the tree. Yes, you can. Did you climb up the trunk? The, tr the tree is already on. Oh. No, the tree oh, only needed to be on yeah, for the that's right. jiggy, and you the already jiggy. got it. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. You need to climb up the trunk. I, oh, I thought you went down into it. No. And now I'm... 
No, you're so stupid. I am dumb. How dare you? But yeah, a lot of people feel pressured into going because their friends are going and stuff like that. No, you need it's... to... First you... Oh, there, there it is. is. I also get the, get the net. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. No, shit, really? <laughs> they um, know. <laughs> he's sentient. <laughs> Take me to the kids. That one kid that you left crying. You giant asshole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um... Oh, good job. Yay. Yay. Um, yeah, there's nothing There's nothing wrong with just doing what you need to do. Mm -hmm. I actually know... We actually both have a friend, a mutual friend, that does not have a college degree. And he's doing fine. Yep. Uh, he works at a factory? Truck loading place? Something like that? It's something like that. I think he works at a garage door. I think he gets now. paid... I think he gets paid more than both of us do. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Well, you probably... I got all the notes. You might get paid a little more, but... I don't know. I honestly don't. I don't really care about how much other people make. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I kind of do, because uh, that's how I set how much I get paid. You know? Oh, uh, yeah. True. Because freelancing, that's important. Well, yeah. You're you're comparing it to other people in yeah. your field. Yes. Uh, when it uh, comes to, like, people I know, I don't really it, care. It doesn't really matter. And, and now, if you live work in the same workplace... That shit's Here, important. I found a present, you ungrateful prick. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something for you. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Can't then... be happy with just your brothers getting presents, Gina. <laughs> Look, there's only two of them in the picture! <laughs> go to your left. Wait, why? <laughs> That's horrible! All You're right. your daddy's least favorite anyway. <laughs> Alright, next time we'll uh, we'll leave this world and go to the same world. Right. Time for sand! Yeah. You're, I'm done with your ice physics. 